I'm Fred Nolan. I'm the lead illustrator on Priced Out. This is a guide sketch and this is all the reference photos that went into just an opening scene that will be seen for about 10 seconds perhaps. So it's quite a lot of work to boil down to a little bit of time. So you can see the pencil lines still in there that are just the guides that I drew with. Um, and then the two characters in the center to use as a guide. And then we transition from this to the actual final rendering where I have the original pencil drawing in the background as a guide that I drew over. So you just multiply that process by about 100,000, and then you have like this frame. <laughs> and all of this is done on 40 different layers. If you take a look at the armature, you can see it's a lot more complicated than it looks. The animation itself is built in several layers for different scene transitions and to place the uh, different characters in their own isolated environment so you can manipulate them. Each one of these is a different color field. Any one of those is just a flat color. So to get her you know, dyed hair on top of the other hair, you have a couple of uh, layers at work. And if you go in, you can see each one of these drawings is composed of several different lines. This just shows, like, you know, if you look at the, you might not be able to tell, but if you look at the armature here, if you look at the, the outline of the illustrations, each one of these carries a different aspect of the illustration, like a highlight for the glasses, the basic color, the framing. And the reason we do, we break them out like this is so the animators can go in and, again, move them around as they need to. So normally this process is split among a team of I don't know, five to ten people, apparently. I wasn't actually aware of that. Um, I've always been a very DIY kind of person, so in my production when I was doing comics, when I've done animation before, I've just always done all of it. So I wasn't too intimidated by the process. Um, thankfully, I didn't know quite how much it would involve at the start, because I might have been. But once you're in the middle of it, you know, it becomes very sink or swim, and you just kind of go with it. Um, and it does allow me to have uh, greater control over the whole look and feel of the project versus having to delegate to different people. Like I'm not a great delegator, like I'm much more of just a hands-on kind of person. So the process works for me.